Catherine the Great was born on May 2nd, 1729, as Sophie of Enhelt Zerbst in Stetten, Prussia, in the Holy Roman Empire. Her mother was Johanna Elizabeth of Holstein Gottorp. Her father, Christian August, Prince of Anhalt Zerbst, was a German prince, although he held the title of a Prussian general as the governor of Stettin. The marriage of Sophie and Peter III was to strengthen the relationship of Prussia and Russia and to weaken the influence of Austria. However, their engagement could also be considered a direct result of the Lopukina conspiracy, which, long story short, ended with tongues being ripped off. Johanna, Sophie's mother, cared more about putting Sophie on the throne than Sophie herself. Sophie made a great effort to involve herself in the culture, changing her name to Ekaterina, or Catherine, and converting to Orthodoxy, the primary religion in Russia. This meant that she was well-liked by Empress Elizabeth Petronova, also known as Empress Elizaveta, who ruled at the time. Catherine and Peter III married in August of 1745, where Catherine assumed the title Grand Duchess Catherine Alexievna. This marriage was not a happy one, and both parties had other lovers, and they were also second cousins. After the death of Empress Elisaveta in early 1762, Prince Peter and Duchess Catherine ascended the throne to become emperor and empress. Yet Peter III seemed to be more loyal to Prussia than Catherine was. Catherine described Peter as an idiot and drunkard. She was very aware of her position and had a lot of ambition, the exact opposite of Peter III. The emperor had policies that displayed his admiration for the king of Prussia, which was on the other side of the groups that Empress Catherine had a relationship with due to Prussia and Russia fighting in the Seven Years' War. The emperor had been planning a war against Denmark, Russia's ally. This discredited Peter III and led Empress Catherine to enact a motion she had been preparing for months, a coup d'etat. On July 8, 1762, one of Catherine's allies was arrested by Peter III. This may have motivated Empress Catherine to stage the coup. The next day, on July 9th, Empress Catherine pleaded to the soldiers to support her and protect her from the emperor. She had her husband arrested and forced him to abdicate, meaning that she could freely succeed the throne. The church then ordained her as the sole ruler of the throne. From then on, Catherine was the Empress of Russia. Eight days after the coup and six months after he ascended the throne, Peter III died. It is unknown how he died. Theories are that he was assassinated by Catherine or her supporters, but the official autopsy says it was a hemorrhoidal colic that did him in. After her coronation in 1762 with the Imperial Crown of Russia, newly made, Catherine the Great would become the longest female ruler in Russia, and she effectively modernized Russia, finally granting her the title, The Great.